So game weeks, what are they, how do they work, what do they mean for you as we head into the start of the Gallagher Premiership season? So to us, a game week is a collection of fixtures and basically ties into the rounds of fixtures that are played throughout the season. For the Premiership, every club is involved in each of those fixtures by the playoffs. Uh, in Super Rugby it's slightly different, some clubs have bye weeks and that's uh, you get a yellow disc on, with our bronze upgrade that tells you that a team is on a bye week and not playing that week. Uh, there's also the orange disc that tells you if a fixture has been cancelled and of course we might have cancelled fixtures through the course of this Premiership season due to Covid. Now, in the event that a fixture is cancelled, all of the players who play for the clubs involved in that cancelled fixture will get the average points of all of the other players who have played throughout that game week. So it means that you don't have to be forced into making an awful lot of transfers, taking penalties, that sort of stuff. Those players who are involved in those council fixtures will still get points. And hopefully it just means that it's a little bit easier as we head through the season. So the main part of game weeks is that they lock. They stop you from bringing players in and out of your squad and in and out of your team. Originally we'd set it up that there was a cutoff time 15 minutes before the first fixture of the game week, but that changed last season and has obviously come into this season, that fixtures lock as we go through the game week. Fixtures provide those locks rather than having one lock that locks everybody in. Now bear in mind that you don't have to submit your team. All changes are made real time and your team is entered at the outset of every fixture. And at the outset of every fixture, the players who play for the clubs who are involved in those fixtures are locked. They are locked into your team out of your team if you haven't already selected them and they're locked into your squad or out of your squad if you haven't already selected them. So they are the cutoffs when those fixtures start. So the first game of this Premiership season is Harlequins against Exeter, just double check, make sure I'm saying the right thing, at 7.45 on Friday. So when that fixture kicks off, all Harlequin players and all Exeter players will be locked into your team and your squad or locked out if you haven't selected them or signed them to your squad. All the other players still remain available. Now it's really important that you keep to that 28 player minimum, otherwise when, as each fixture rolls by, you won't be entered for points if you're not at that 28 player minimum. But as the fixtures roll by, the players who play for the clubs who are involved in those fixtures will get locked in and out of your team and your squad, as I've said. Now that will happen through the course of the season for every game week that we run. For the first week, the as the teams are entered and it updates, it may take five or 10 minutes depending on how many people we've got in, but usually after that first five or 10 minutes, everybody will set up, they will be able to earn points and it will show up with the Game Week Live page and it will show up on your points page. The app will change slightly, it will allow you to see the points in the Game Week Live page and from there you're able to follow each of your players' individual points that they're scoring through the Game Week, uh, how you compare to any rivals that you've got, the highest score, how you compare to the highest score, how you compare to the average score, and then a breakdown of each of the fixtures through that game week. So there's loads and loads of information on the game week live on the web and on the app. Now all of that might seem quite complicated at the moment, but I promise you it's not. As we progress through the season, you'll see that it's really nice and simple and gives you an awful lot of flexibility and freedom with your team and squad as we head through the campaign. Of course, if you have any questions, please get in touch, uh, reach out. I'm always happy to answer any questions that come up. Uh, but hopefully this gives you a good understanding of how game weeks work as we progress through the season. As ever, hit that like and subscribe button and follow us on your favourite social media channel. And I look forward to telling you more. What have I got for you in the next video? I think five bold predictions and honestly, <laughs> pretty bold. So look out for that one. That one is going to land shortly.